website and everything. Just check it online, and we'll put these things in three hundred groups so you can just get out and get the area out. Thank you. Thank you. I need one minute to come in. Roland on uh, 79 Springbrook. Is that okay with everybody? It's okay with me. Okay, okay with I'm me. Here. here I am. Uh, Roland. Hi, Roland. Hi. How you doing, Gary? All right, sir. All right, well, go ahead. Tell us your story. Uh, I purchased the property at 79 Springbrook. It has a 1972 62 foot wide trailer on it. I want to take that trailer down and put up a house. Uh, it's a it's a non conforming, a pre existing non conforming lot. Uh, before it was sold, they had to get a, a approval for a new septic, which I have as part of the package that I, I put there. Uh, the house is going to be less non conforming. Uh, it'll, you know, it'll never meet the requirements for the lot area or, or frontage, but like I said, it's pre-existing non-conforming. Uh, it's a, you know, very modest house. It's a, a, I think a minimal increase in the square footage is going from 800 to 960. Uh, this makes it a little more livable. Uh, and I think it'll, it'll increase the the look of the neighborhood but immensely. So I think, I think it's a win-win for everybody. Okay, Hillary, do you have any concerns uh, with the restrictions that were placed on the house? Nope, it just, it's required to come back to you for any increase in habitable area. So it's going from a three bedroom mobile home to a three bedroom regular dwelling. Anybody have any concerns about it or any questions about it? No. No. Okay. Nope. All right. Well, then, can I have a motion to approve the? What am I approving? The, the increase. The, the increase in habitable area. Yes. Do I have a motion? I so move to increase the habitable area on. Seventy-nine Springbrook. Seventy-nine Springbrook Avenue. Thanks, Gary. Road. <laughs> Road. Road. <laughs> not Avenue. Road. Uh, we had that when we filed with the uh, filed the deed. They had the they had uh, okay. I think they had avenue or something. We had to go change it. You know. Okay. <laughs> okay. So Hillary, we also have to approve still the restrictions on this as well. Correct. The restrictions are still on it from when the septic was approved. Okay. Right, because we already re re approved the septic. Right. Okay. I mean, we need a second. So I'm finished. Second. So I have a second. I'll second. All in favor. Aye. 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 Good luck with that, sir. All right, thank yes. you very much. Good luck, Roland. All right, thanks for your time. Take care, Gary. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Nick, you were muted, but you're unmuted now. Yeah, I know. I was going to ask a question. Just did we get a water test on that? Was there, do we we're know that we need one? the well permit to come in. So that oh, okay. will come in next. Once before okay. they install the septic, the well permit will come in. Okay, yep. very good. Thank you. Hi, Nick. Hello, Hello Gary. Happy, Happy New Year. Year. Happy New Year to you too, sir. Should okay, be better. The minutes for December 9th. I have a motion to approve the minutes for December 9th. Do we have I'll the move. farm? Yes. Do we, we have, have the, farm? the farm? And I had sent the link to Susan, who is trying to join us. Um, okay. She's in Orleans. So we should see her shortly. Okay. So we have a Does anyone, uh, can I ask a question about the farm? Does anyone think we need a site plan? That's I mean, Hillary's I mean, call. I mean, it looked okay uh, when we, and we, we went to see the place, but it always is nicer to see it on the site plan, I think. I don't know. That's Hillary's call, I would yeah. think. Yeah. What do you think, Hillary? I didn't hear the question. Site plan. This, did we you get mean? it on a site plan? Right. Um, I'm looking right now, and what I have is six to eight chickens and three goats. Right. Uh, income fencing with a chain link fence. Uh, we have talk about water, talk about vermin control, manure, 
Chickens and goats. I'm getting out the site plan. Oh, there is one. Okay, because there wasn't no, one. The there was one. I, yeah, we didn't see one. That's one. Um, I do not think one came in with the application. Okay. However, I okay. have a site plan. Okay. And she's telling us the location of the well is 40 feet south of the house. Um, the chickens 20 feet from the property line. I don't have on the site plan where the stuff is going. So I think unfortunately we do need her. So let right. me check my email, make sure she got what I sent her. And it doesn't have to be fancy. No, but no. we need to be no. able to see it. But, but it needs to be readable. Is that tea, Janet? It is my tea. God, I don't know what I'd do without it, Gary. You know, my mother was the same way. Was she? Yeah. Always had I, I, that, that's how I was raised. It was like, because I'm, I'm, I'm English descent, and my great-grandmother, my grandmother, whenever there was a problem, put, let's on get a team. cuppa. Get, put on the kettle. <laughs> let's get a cuppa. So. Yep, put the kettle on, yep. Put the kettle on, yep, yep. My daughter is that way. She wanted her she? own um, flask for a cup, mug for her tea. And in her stocking, that's all she got was boxes and boxes of tea. And she was <laughs> oh, so that's excited. Cute. That's cute. That's cute. Yeah. 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 My mother would, uh, and she loved the uh, those little, uh, those, the, the, what is those, tea, the shortbreads or whatever, those little. Oh, tea yes. Tea. Yeah. Tea. 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 Yeah. She used to have those too. In Those my past delicious. life, I actually worked for the Bursari Tea Gallery in Dennis. I don't know if you ever were there, but they no. had a tea room, and I used to make all their scones and pies and oh, nice. tea stuff. Nice. Yes, mm. I have been. I have been there, Rebecca. Yeah. Nice. And quiche. Lots of quiche. That's great talent to do that stuff. I loved it, and it was like the real English. They had um, George was the tea master, and he was from Scotland, and Oh, he made boy. sure that the scones were exactly the way they were supposed to be. They weren't the store-bought sweet scones. They had to be like no sugar in them. And right. No, it, the, and so, it, and I think they did that so that the kids wouldn't eat them all. That you're absolutely right. You know, because <laughs> oh, they had to taste like shit, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> no, no, no. There was enough. But there's enough butter in them not to yeah, worry about they, that. Yeah, and they had like nice jams and like creams that you could put on right. them. Right, but the, you know, you'd 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 reach for a scone as a kid and go, oh man, this is no, this is you know, tasteless. <laughs> this doesn't taste That's good. how I felt yeah. about biscotti. I was like, who wants to eat this? Yeah. <laughs> it's funny what you do as a kid. Well, I suppose we could talk a little bit about COVID briefly, if anyone. Sure, wants. Hillary. I'm sure you don't yep. talk about that at all all day. <laughs> well, I don't know. We're getting lots of calls off the hook about when folks can get their vaccine. Yeah, um, April well here. We don't have any information yet, other than telling people they can get their vaccine in February. Um, we know that there's going to be regional clinics to roll it out. Um, so the thought process is to hold bigger regional clinics with Barnstable County um, and get most people to those and then have a smaller clinic in Wellfleet or a couple smaller clinics in Wellfleet to get the folks that don't want to venture to the regional clinic because we know we're more efficient at sort of a mass vaccinating event. So that's the plan for vaccination rollout. Our first responders were done yesterday. So yeah. police and fire, um, then they'll get their second dose and then we will slowly move to phase two at the beginning of February. And we're not getting a whole heck of a lot of information um, from the state on what that looks like. I did get a number of questions from people on how they're gonna prove that they're this age with two comorbidities. And the word from the state was, um, you, we're not going to require a doctor's note. We're going to take you on your face value. Right, that you right. have two issues and vaccinate because the most important part is to get the people vaccinated. Right. And we don't want to put a lot of pressure on doctors and medical offices to start releasing letters to every patient right. that has 
high blood pressure and you know diabetes so well, i think that's what that's going to be the thing is educating the public as to what's a comorbidity you know because yes, that probably. we're used to that word we use it all the time but other people say what the hell is a comorbidity you know yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. so so i think you know and it seems to me that people that have stuff going on know that they know have it. stuff going on and will self-identify in that group so that's right but i don't know that they know the term comorbidity yeah you know? and they, what, might, not, they know just might know they have stuff yeah <laughs> i don't know it janet i know so i, I think that's, that's, that. the thing, that's the anything, thing that would like be health, very good for, right. for the health department to put out here's a list if you have high blood pressure if you have you know obesity if you have asthma. obesity if you've if you've had um heart dis if you yeah. have heart disease and have had heart surgery you know um do you have a do you have kidney disease you know there, there's uh, there's comorbidities and there's comorbidities you know i got it yeah i, I, so, I didn't i yeah. i wasn't familiar with the term yeah it sounds so powerful it, it sounds frightening you know it's yeah yeah, right. yeah. it sounds yeah. kind of frightening it does. Yes. Well, when you have yeah. morbid in there, you know. Exactly. <laughs> I hope right. I don't have it, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or Let's history of cancer. You know, history yeah. of cancer can be considered, yeah. you know, you know, there's a lot of them. And uh, Hillary, not to change the subject, and this doesn't go in the minutes, but I love your hair like that. <laughs> I, I said the same thing, Janet. I said the same it's, thing. It's so her. It's so I, peppy. I totally agree. It's so peppy. It's so alive. It's so different. <laughs> oh, I said I, the first it's thing I said was how cute she looks. And she's got a, a, a widow's peak that's so attractive so and so even. Thanks, you know, <laughs> that doesn't have to go in the middle. Your hair is alive. <laughs> It's, yeah, you, it has no comorbidities, Gary. Her hair has no be, comorbidities. I would be concerned with a live hair. You see, I have none, so I don't really know what that is. So. I'm with you, Gary. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying not to join the club, guys. I'm sorry. I'm working on it. You have a lot of hair, Ken. hair, Ken. It looks like Susan has joined us remotely here. Good. Um, let's see if we can unmute her. Yeah. Mass Act, Hillary, are you all talking about, you're talking about the vaccination a minute ago with comorbidity? Yes. yes. Here's a question. I am an in-home care provider, but I, I don't count as a health care provider, do I? Nope. Nope. Okay. So April or May. But okay. Yeah, phase, phase three. <laughs> okay. So tell us about your stable application. We're commenting that we're not sure where on your site the chickens and goats are going. <laughs> Um, okay. Uh, for anyone who's not familiar with the site, do you know where Kinley Grover is? Uh, yeah. and the we, we, we made a site with it yesterday. We went there okay. yesterday. Yeah. Uh, and by the way, hi, Janet. It's like, hi, honey. It's yeah. relief to see you. I like to see you. Thank you. <laughs> I haven't seen you in so long. I okay. know. I know. Um, so Amsler's was next door, which is now state owned. Uh, last I heard they're tearing down that house. Um, uh, anyway, that was a whole bike trail issue, but, um, so the chickens, uh, would be between my house and that fence that is right on the property line, uh, with the, what I still call the Amsler property. Does that make sense? So, so it's on the aerial lane looking yeah. at your dwelling. Yeah, looking at the house, the, the chickens, uh, belong on the right hand side. Yeah. Right now, there's a five foot uh, chain link coyote. We saw that. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Chain link coyote proof fence. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, uh, goats um, would temporarily be a little bit closer to the house, but the goal for them is to actually be closer to Oriole Lane. Um, the purpose of them is that that hill used to be, I don't know if you care about this, that hill used to be much more clear between me and the Atwood house. And I know they would like for me to clear it. And so um, the goats- You'll have the goats. You're hiring the goats. The, goats. <laughs> the, the, the <laughs> part of the goats earning their keep would be helping clear right. that hill. Once upon and a time- will you, will you rent them for a fee? Uh, only to you. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> only to you for free, Miss Janet. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, it used to be done by a cow and quite a long time ago by sheep. 
and so the the goal here would be to get it done by the goats Good. yeah um so that would be the best place um however there is a pen it's kind of a a winter home so to speak uh, up closer to the house that's available um that's still a good hundred feet from anybody's well anywhere more than that i would say okay susan is that the pen with the christmas tree in it it is i just tossed okay. it in there <laughs> okay okay yes. good i know where it is all right yeah that sounds cool sounds good I'm looking at your well, and your goats and chickens are going to be 100 feet away from your well. Is that what you're telling us? Yeah, yes. I think it's at least 100 feet away. Okay. Yeah, the well. What are you getting? It's up on the hill. That ring. The well is on the hill, yeah. Yeah, the well yeah. is up, it's on, up the on the hill. It's up on the hill facing the house. south bank. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Does anybody have any other questions? Yeah. Hillary, I, I think I'd just it? like to ask Susan to, yes. when she gets a moment, to sketch onto the site plan where everything is going, just so we have a record of it. Um, yeah. I just want to make sure it's all at least 100 feet away from the neighbor's wells um, and 100 feet from her well. Um, and I think we do like to see it on the site plan in case any neighbors come and ask questions after okay. the fact. So my next question is, did you notify the abutters? Crap, no. Okay. Well, one is my uncle, so he knows. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm not sure how to notify the state. So I did not notify the state. Um, the Atwood house is, yeah, is my family. So they know about it. Um, I did not send a letter to Kinley Grover. Okay, so we need you to do that. Um, so I would say we have to continue you anyway, because okay. that is a formality that is required. Um, okay. You send them certified mail, it's in the instructions. Um, okay. And then we will continue you to our next hearing, which would be February 10th. Hey, that's my mother's birthday. I'll ask you this, um, as far as that front property, how do I, that's so state you, owned now. You're gonna contact the assessor, so Nancy Vale, oh, okay. and she'll okay. give you the mailing we'll the address. address. And then okay. you send them a, a certified mail. Okay. okay. And you want to see a site plan with yeah. drawings. Yeah. And uh, I'm assuming that the waste is going to be composted for the chickens yeah. for compost. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yep. Sounds good. Sounds great. Right. Well, well, we'll see you in February then. Sounds good. It should be fine. Thank you, Thank Susan. You. Thank you. Thanks. For my Thank girls, you. my love. Give the girls my love. Okay. I will. We miss you. Okay. okay. Bye. Okay. Well, why don't we go? We got a second here before we get back to COVID. Why don't we approve the minutes for December 9th, please? Can I have a motion? I'll make the motion. I reviewed them. Um, I um I make a motion that we approve the, the Board of Health virtual meeting Wednesday, December 9th at 3 p.m. Do I have a second? Second. Nick. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Um, so now back to COVID. Is there any other discussion? I, I, Hillary, have you heard? Well, CVS is supposed to be doing them as well. I'm not yes. sure. Yes. Yep, so the idea is that local boards of health are not supposed to be setting up clinics because it's way more than we can handle at this point. Um, we don't have the capacity, we don't have the freezers, we don't have the nursing staff. There are right. so many things we don't have to carry this out effectively, but we know that our residents are rather drawn to the old way of doing things like the flu clinic and 
you know, that's what they're used to and that's what they're comfortable with. So that's why I said the idea is to push folks to the regional mass vaccination clinics because they'll be fully staffed and, and equipped to handle most anything. And understanding that CVS, Outer Cape Health, doctor's offices are all going to be administering the vaccine as well. So sort of the town of Wellfleet model clinic would be their last last place to come and get it. Right. So so like just the way the way the COA did the um, flu clinic, the flu mm -hmm. yeah. where you never even got out of your car. It was so efficient, you know, yeah. but, um, you know, if if we have to, maybe Barnstable would come up here and do that at our COA, you know, it's just that yeah, no, the, and older, they will. the older yeah. stable folks, you know? Yeah, yeah. so so they will, we're, we're, we've already had that discussion. But uh -huh. again, like if we do a regional clinic, it'll probably be in East Ham or Orleans. And I think folks travel Makes there sense. anyway right. to get right. groceries or whatever. And the way you have to register for the vaccine is through this like prep mod online registration process that like, we don't have the bandwidth to like tackle at the moment, but, right, but right. Um, we will be able to help people and guide them to where they need to go and hold their hand and get them through the process. So right, right. Um, there we go. I spend hours a day talking to people about when they can get their vaccine and why people in Florida are already getting it and right. what their issues are. But you know, that's are. something the COA might want to take on too, guiding people through the online yeah. Registration. You know, that's a good COA project. It doesn't yeah, have to involve sure, the Board sure. of Health. Yeah. 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 Good, and good. so we'll do Excellent. that hand in hand Excellent. once we get the information from the right. state. So right. Okay. I think good. in the past two we weeks go. we've had six positive cases. Um Outer Cape Health is doing the testing. Cape Cod Healthcare is doing testing at the Melody Tent and the Falmouth Fairgrounds. Outer Cape Health is doing it at their locations. And so we do have testing available. Unfortunately, none of it is free, although Outer Cape Health is one free spot for now. So they extended their free offerings for another month or so. So that's good. That's good. Larry? Are there anything else we can talk about this evening? Um, I want to get back to some regulation changes. Um, we do we want to hear from Brian Baumgartel from Barnstable County about the layer cake system or are we all up to speed on the layer cake system? We're pretty up to speed on yep. it. It's yeah. still it's still provisional, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, and then the Fair wastewater enough. committee would like us to get back to the discussion on um, upgrading our regulation or changing our regulation to um, the enhanced IA that we had talked about and when we might think about looking at that again. And in addition to that, we have the housing piece. If we want to go back near that right now, I don't know. And, and what about our cesspool or, and, and that, uh, at, yeah. And yeah. our area of critical concern kind of deal that we were going to do. I still want to do that. I think yeah. we should do that. I, and, I, and I, I think the cesspool think so is is the is the priority here. You know, I mean, I think that's really the priority. So, so Hillary, is it too much to ask for you to put together a little list of of those uh, those uh, hot button nope. regulations that we're looking at? Nope. Um, because uh, because I think those are the things. I I think that that. Um, if we can start getting something to look at, then we can start beating around exactly the wording of it. Yeah, that, and I guess right. I'd rather see us tackle the septic stuff than the housing stuff at this yeah, point. Yeah, that, that's right. what I was right. talking more about. Bang right. for our buck and less um, hostility from the community. <laughs> well, the, the, the septic stuff I think is important too. I think we really need to let the, the engineers know that if you're within X of you know, a resource area that you're going to have to use IA regardless yeah. of, of variances or not. Yep. Yep. I agree. Um, Excellent. Yes. So I will put together a small list for our next meeting to good, back. Good. Uh, oh, perfect. Thank you so much. Yeah. Because I think that'll get the ball rolling, I think. Yes. Yeah. Right. Right. Good. Because yep. I'd idea, like Gary. to do that this, I'd like to do that this year. Yeah, me too. <laughs> you do. 
You Good. Know. Do we know about Jed? Have we heard yeah, anything Jed, about Jed? Jed is no longer a, with us, so we do need okay. a member if anybody can think of anybody. Katie Cushman said, asked me, she said she's going to apply for an alternate role. And I said to her, that might become a permanent more, if, if you get on as an alternate, it might become a permanent more than anything else. She has a master's in public health. Oh. She's really been in more commercial venues in, her, in a lot of her career, but she does have a master's in public health. And again, as many people, she's gone through the septic process with her own place. So she's, you know, that's what she knows. But we always have Gary. You see, I said to her, we have yeah. one person on the board who's wonderful, who's going <laughs> to teach us everything. <laughs> well, not that well, everybody's to, not wonderful, but Gary. Well, I'm very excited about excited. this layer cake thing. I am too. Yeah. yeah. More than more that, than more than the other ones. Yep, I, I think that yep. that could be a really great solution for the wetland area properties. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So when is Katie going to apply? I think straight away. Should I? Okay. I, I can foster that. I can. Foster yeah, tell that. her to tell her to do it and hand it into Jeannie Mack, and I can get her on the agenda for the twenty. Okay, 26th. because she is she's a two forty six volunteer, so I will get to her and tell her to do that. Yeah, we need I, we need someone. Yeah, you, Hillary, you know Katie, right? I don't know if I know Katie or not. Katie, Katie is also the volunteer coordinator for SPAC. She was last year. I think if you saw her, I know, you know who her. she is. She's yes, wicked nice. Yes, yes. I'm sure I've met her then. Yeah, yeah. Have, sure you, Gary, you know her. Her family's been in town for years. She hasn't necessarily been, but her family has been. So. She's one of those gals that runs around backstage at Oyster Fest with a clipboard. Is she one of those? Well, she she's a she's one of the she's the volunteer oh, coordinator. She's here? not backstage in the big stage. She's oh, not okay. where Jody is. She's not necessarily oh. where Jody is. Oh, okay. She's at the admissions tent. You know. Oh, the admissions. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Good. Any other business? No. no. I think that's all I got for you. Thank you. I, 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 Thanks, I guys. Thank you. Approve Hillary's uh, and they adjourn the meeting. Hillary. You need to keep that hairdo. <laughs> I want that in the minutes. <laughs>